hard to describe sharing what it means, but it's something that sort of gets into your blood and you become very passionate about it. It gets quite addictive. The more you do, the more you want to achieve. And then that might step into something like a world record a bit later on. Then you've got to pretty much train like an Olympic athlete and get things right. This is the show where I came second and Dad came third. That was a sack race. You have to have that competitive streak in you to, to do it day in, day out. So we're lucky that we get paid to be neurotically competitive, is what I'd say. <laughs> I'm Emily. I'm Sam. We're sharing contractors and farming with our family here in Waikaratu. We're living in a small coastal community, Waikaratu. We're quite close-knit group around here. My mum and dad have a cafe caving business. So they're 12 k's down the road from us, closer to the coast. For the last three years we've been farming half of dad's farm, about 180 acres. And then on the 1st of March we take over the rest of the farm. So I think in total we'll have about 500 acres that we're farming. Welch Shearing is our company. We share 330,000 sheep in this area. The main share, which is uh, November, December, we have four gangs on, about 16, 17 sharers, and all the rest of the staff. <laughs> Sam and I met competing on the sharing circuit. Sam was the better sharer. My one claim to fame is beating him once. I came second and he came third. <laughs> and then you didn't want to shake my hand, eh? No, I shook his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Sam still has a current world record holder with Stacey Tahuya, and I'm the former woman's nine hour record holder. And then I'm out for those. We're doing less sharing now because four gangs is does take quite a bit of management. There's a lot of paperwork as people who employ people know. But we do enjoy a, a day out in the shed. Yeah, I, li I like to flick the switch every now and then. I'm okay with anybody sharing more than me in the wool shed these days, but every now and then I'll flick the switch and just go, no, you're not going to beat me today. Knowing the hard work that people put into things to achieve their goals is what sets their emotions off. After Emily achieved her record, I was watching Valerie Adams at the Olympic Games and she throws a gold and next thing I'm in tears and I'm emotional about it and that's okay, you know, men are allowed to cry. And, and definitely over the good stuff. Yeah, I think after you've been at the top level and, and, and done those records and know the journey, you feel so much more connected when you're watching these athletes because you know what it's like. Try to get it, and if, if she wants a kick, push your knees forward, okay? We have four children. Addison has shown a few last sides. She often, she'll ask me when we're sharing some lambs, can I, can I finish it? So I try to let her finish them. Eric's written his name on the board as a presser, <laughs> so I think he's into it. All right, you can put it down the chute. Go, go. We get a lot of young people well coming to our wool shed and they've got to fit into the team and I think that sets them up for a, a good understanding of purpose and fitting into other places. Get okay, ready, watch out for Eric because he's getting a big arm load in If they don't continue on with, in the shearing sheds as a career, they've learned how to work hard and roll their sleeves up and get amongst it and you get paid for what you put in. So, yeah, it is a very honest job. <laughs> Having the farm and then all the staff, it sort of gives you that balance going out onto the land. You know, that just really helps sort of balance out some of that stress. So I think it's a good mix and it's been good. We've enjoyed doing all of it together. The one thing I love about the farming is you, you're your own boss, so whatever calls you make are, are your calls. The, the neighbours over the fence, they'll be doing something different. The most important thing is just making sure the animals are healthy and strong and, and prepare yourself correctly for the seasons ahead. <laughs>